Vegas pregame show. And in our game tonight, we've got the Chicago Bulls against the Miami Heat. For the Heat, they come in off a win in their last game against the Cavaliers. They find...
and he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. Well, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. And so it's Chicago with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been... again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Bulls, what's your take? Well, the coaches preach ball movement, and, and we saw exactly why in that first quarter. Well, everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around, and lots of hands were touching it. They've got Lowry Markinen. Thomas Sadoransky is out there with White. And there's Gordon, and it's Gafford into the final spot. The five out there for the Bulls. Finishes the break with a slam. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Uh, if you look at Miami's future and it was inside of Crystal Ball, that picture's got to be a bit foggy at this point. They've been in the middle of the pack for a long time, but taking a chance this offseason and bringing in Jimmy Butler as their lone star, we'll see if that recruitment process pays off in some ways for Miami to reestablish some of their culture. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Fifty-seven left now here on the second. Here's Krogic, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. You know, it seems like every year Miami is barely making or barely missing the playoffs. So, Brent, you're right. They've been close. They keep it competitive. I just don't think there's a way in which Pat Riley will ever let go of the rope that way and tear down the rosters. There's just too much pride, too much competitive fire here for them to do that. And it's not the way that Miami making a switch here. Levine's checked in, and a new group in for the Heat. Adebayo is checked in for Leonard. Olenek comes in for James Johnson. Justice Winslow is checked in for Robinson. And it's Waiters in for Goran Brodnick. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Levine against Winslow. Astro Olenek, five on the clock. Over Levine. Rebounded by Gafford. The Bulls leading by nine. Offside marking it. Over Waiters. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye from that kind of range. And the basket by Olenek. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. And White pitch to Levine. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. Seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Sadoransky finds Levine. Winslow with a stellar effort on defense there. That shot attempt was not easy. Two for one, probably the way to go. Don't want to rush it, but you don't want to take too much time here. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Mike looking around. Six. There's working it. And it's Miami with the rebound. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. For Miami, they have not yet made a free throw in the game 0-2 so far. And how about as a group? 80% on the season. One of their best attributes. So he hits one of two from the strike. like he's playing with
with the wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Gordon. How would you say you guys have... Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They have a six-point lead. Kenny, what do you think? Well, I think to shoot a high percentage, the offense has to be in sync. And in the first half, those guys were sharing the basketball, playing for each other. Now it becomes a matter of being consistent. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? Well, they need to turn the Heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the hill, not dictating the pace. They allowed a shooting percentage at the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high 50s. Come on, guys. And that's a wrap with the... joining us. We've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Zach Levine, he's really been playing well. Hey, it's been a great performance from him. This is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. In the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. Trogic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. And it's Winslow in at the three slot. There's Porter with the three. Hits it from three-point range. Porter's got the lead up to nine now for the Bulls. Right, you stood up for six teams in your NBA career. What do you think about some of the front offices that you came across during that playing time? I think when you find a, a front office and you move from franchise to franchise is what it is that they, they value most. And there were some franchises, quite frankly, Kevin, that I played for where they just wanted you to show up on time, get there, play the game, and leave. Those franchises end up having a lot of struggle to find some footing in the league. They also find trouble finding uh, attraction from free agency because people understand the culture that they There are other teams that do so many other things well, Kevin, and feel so much more valued as a player throughout the course of your career. Uh, those are the places that end up sticking with you. And I think the league is doing a great job from top to bottom, moving in that direction. Now, some are doing it better than others. That will always be the case. But the idea around finding more completeness for what it is you provide a player is a great thing for everybody. Gordon's checked in for the Bulls. James Johnson's checked in for Miami. Dragic looking for an opening. And, oh, here we go. Carter's got it in the fast break chance. He kicks to Gordon. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Let's it go with a three. Miami with the rebound. Here's the floater. Got that one. The Bulls lead has been cut down to seven on the bucket for Robinson. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Right wing. Johnson against Markinen. Carter left side. Leonard with the steal. In transition, here comes Miami. Porter with the steal. Here we go, the Bulls, finish break. Carter leading the charge. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. And you got to like the vision for marking it. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Rogic dishes to Johnson. Robinson against Porter. Waiters outside. Offline with his three. Chicago leading by nine. One second separate in the shot clock in game four. Outside Gordon. A pass to Porter. Over Robinson. That's good from Porter on the assist by Gordon. Porter's got five points so far. And you got to honor that mid-range J from Porter. Over time, he has really 
improve that shot. And so it's the Chicago Bulls holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll and while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. They've got Zach Levine, Otto Porter Jr. out there with Carter. Then it's Chris Dunn, and it's Zadaransky in at the shooting guard. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. A three ball. That's good. It's Levine with the assist. Zadaransky's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Chicago. Zadaransky. Zadaransky against Waiters. This is a two out of buyer. Back to Waiters. Shot clock at six. Here is Olenek. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. As often he, you find him out on the wing, but Olenek seizing the opportunity to go inside and dig out that extra possession. Harkonnen, he's checked in for the Bulls. That comes in for Dunn. That one falls for Olenek. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Bulls. Led by as many as 14 points. Outside, Porter. Shoots. Levine, good. And the Bulls lead by 13. A masterful possession from Levine. He's so lethal at shooting once he catches it. And here's with three. They get the rebound. That's to Hero. Six to shoot. Back to Adebayo. Good on the shot. Have the number of trades now starting to involve stars. Feels like the league's power balance is always shifting to some degree. Yeah, and I think organizations that are trying to stay ahead of the trend, Kevin, might think about, we might have a star for just two years. How can we get the next one? The backside of that, Kevin, is a lot of these star players are signing deals that are not extending to four or five, six years can't even do that anymore. So if you get a guy for a couple years, what he wants to do is maximize his earning potential for one or two seasons, become a free agent again, and then look around the league for opportunities not only to win, but to also cash in. That's what's happening in today's game. The Heat making a switch here. Trogic has checked in.
quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point.